In this video I'm going to show you how to manage banner ads on your WordPress blog. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a plugin called Max Banner Ads which you can download from this website here maxblogpress.com. And you come to maxblogpress.com and then click here where it says Max Banner Ads, click where it says More. and it takes you through to this page here and there's a video on the page that tells you a bit about what the um, plugin does now this is not a plugin that you can install directly from the dashboard by going to the wordpress.org site you have to download this to your computer's hard drive and then install it manually so we'll just do that now click on download now and this pop-up window opens and it says max-banner-ads.zip so you want to save this file to your computer's hard drive just click on OK and there it is done so now we can close that and we can go to the dashboard on our blog and then come over here to plugins and click on add new and you need to click on this link here upload and it says here install a plugin in .zip format so we need to browse for where it is so click on the browse button and this window opens and you can see here is our zip file so we're going to upload that now to the web space so click on open and then click on install now and there we are that's installed so now I click on the link to activate the plugin and the plugin is activated before you can use it though it has to be registered I'm using the free version there's free and paid versions um, but obviously with the free version there's no charge to register it so to do that come over here to where it says tools and you'll notice that it's added this new link in here max banner ads so we're going to click on that and then it says fill in the form below to register the plugin so let's put in my first name and then click on register and there we go and it tells me that it's going to be sending me an email and that the email will have an activation link so let's just go over to my gmail inbox now and you can see max blog press response required so click on this to open the email and click there to confirm and activate and there we go it says your max blog press plugin has been activated so I can close this window now and then go back to the dashboard and at the bottom here you'll see this button that says verify and activate so we click on that and that's it the plugin is now activated okay now we can start to set up the plugin there are several things that you can do with this um, and several areas that you can put banners on the website. You can either have them within the post, you can have them in the sidebar widget, you can have them at the top of the first post, and you can have them at the bottom of the last post. And then you have several controls, it'll show the status, you can add a new banner, you can edit the zone, you can reset the zone statistics, delete the zone and you can 
move between template and post tags. Okay, let's put our new banner in at the top of the first post. And you can see here it says no banners added yet, add now. So we'll click on that link. And you have several options here. You can either have a banner ad or you can have other text ads, Flash or JavaScript, and that's for AdSense, AdBright, and so on. And then you give your banner a name. Let's call this Banner 01. And then you have to decide where the banner is going to come from. You can either link directly to a banner URL, you can upload a banner from your computer, or you can upload from a remote URL. I'm going to link to a URL for this demonstration. And the banner that I'm going to link to is on this site, Affiliate Earnings Booster. And there are a couple of different banners that I can choose from. And the one that I'm going to choose from to begin with is this one here. So first thing I'm going to do is to get the URL of the banner. And to do that, come down here to where the IMG tag is, and then I'm going to highlight the URL of the banner, and then right-click to copy that to my computer's clipboard. Come back to my blog, and then where it says image URL, I'm going to paste that in. Now we have the link, and this is the link that people are going to go to when they click on the banner. So again, I'm coming back here to Affiliate Earnings Booster, and in the anchor tag here, you'll find the URL that I want people to click through to. Now this is a ClickBank hop link, and if I was doing this for real, I would put my ClickBank nickname where it says your ID. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So again, I'm going to highlight and then right click and then copy and then go back to the banner ads. And then where it says link, highlight that HTTP because I don't need it. Delete that and control V and there we have my Clickbank hop link embedded now into the blog post and I'll put the trailing slash in there. I'm not sure if it's necessary or not but I'll do it just to be on the safe side now I can check this box here if I want the link to open in a new window or leave it blank if I want people to go to the site from my blog when they click on the link. OK, so that's done. So now all I've got to do is click on Save. And there we go, it says Banner 01 added successfully. And you can see here in the listings, it's now showing the banner. And if I hover over it with the mouse, it actually shows it at full size also shows some of the statistics for the banner here you can see the number of impressions that the banner has had number of clicks the click-through ratio and so on and as people visit your site and click on the banner obviously these stats will change let's just take a look at the banner let's go to the blog And there we go. Now you can see the banner here in the uh, blog page. OK, let's just go back to the dashboard. And again, we'll look in the in the tools again for Max Banner as a couple of other things I want to show you. Let's say I want to edit some of this. Let's say I want to make some changes. What I can do, add a new banner or click here 
edit the zone. And if I just hold the mouse over, I can edit the banner just by clicking on the links here. So let's just do that. It takes me back to the page that I was just viewing, and here you can see there's all the information. There are a couple of advanced options that you can have. You can give your image a tag or title. Let's call this AEB-01 and you can make the link follow or no follow. Now I'm going to make it a follow and then click there save all and there we go it's been successfully edited. One thing that this software will do is it will actually rotate the banners on your website. So let's just come back down to our top of the first post again and click on the link where it says add more banners and I'm going to add a second banner from this affiliate earnings booster site. You'll see here there is one banner that's plain and one banner that has this little flashing arrow on it. So let's add this as our second banner. So once again I'm going to go to the image, highlight that, copy, so now the URL is copied to my computer's clipboard. I'm going to call this Banner02. And again, paste in the image URL and then paste in the link which again if this was for real I put my Clickbank nickname in there so again copy and then paste in and again I want it to open in a new window and we'll set the advanced options let's call this AEB-02 and we'll make it a follow link and click on save all. And you can see we now have both banners shown here. And what will happen is every time this site is displayed this software, or this plugin rather, will alternate between these two banners. So you'll be able to see from the statistics which banner gets the best click through rate, and then you can simply drop the underperforming banner. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. If I come back to the blog, you can see we've still got the first banner. If I refresh the page you can see that we are now showing the second banner with the flashing arrow and if I refresh it again we've gone back to the static version of the banner Something else that you can do with Max Banner Ads is use it to insert Google AdSense into your blog posts. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to insert a Google AdSense block within the post. So click here on where it says Add Now. And we want to click here on this radio button that says other text ads stroke flash stroke javascript and we give this banner a name we call this adsense01 and I've got some adsense code already saved 
So let's just highlight that and copy that to my computer's clipboard and then paste it in and again I want that within the post and in the advanced options let's give it let's put this AdSense 01 and we'll make that follow and save all and there we go AdSense 01 added successfully and if I go back to the blog now let me just scroll down a bit you can see it's added the Google AdSense block into the post. Now, as I said earlier, you can have either free or paid for versions of Max Banner ads. If you have the free version, it will show this link to the Max Banner ad site here at the bottom. If you have the paid for version, then it doesn't have that. So there you go, this is how you can install banner ads into your blog using the Max Banner Ads plugin.